Good morning, LinkedIn family. It's time for another Coffee with Bob. Uh, today, I have the pleasure of hooking up with uh, Brandon, and I'm going to butcher his name, but I'm going to try it anyway, Gittickson. Um, yes, correct, correct. A new connection, uh, which I always love uh, hooking up with new connections. Uh, Brandon works for a really unique company called Junk Pluggers uh, that is not only removing all of your junk for you, and they just opened a franchise here in the Chicagoland area, but doing it in an environmentally friendly way. And he's got some great things going on with uh, Lifnona. Lif, lif, see, I can't pronounce things today, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. I'll there we go. Robert. Yeah, there we go. So, Brandon, uh, tell us a little bit about Junk Luggers. It's really interesting. Yeah, sure. So, um, I started at 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 this um, at this amazing uh, company um, about a month or so ago, and. Essentially, the premise is that it's a junk and furniture removal company, but they do it in a much more holistic way. So we try to be as eco-friendly as possible. That's why there is green in our um, branding. Um, so, so we try to recycle. And um, if, if, if something is too nice to be recycled it gets refurbished in a warehouse which is adjacent to our office here and things get resold uh at a fraction of their original price and then a portion of those proceeds then go to charity so um it's just holistic and i really like uh the company that i'm working for and honestly i don't think i would have worked for this company if I hadn't lived in Sweden. So that's another thing that I didn't mention or I didn't really go down the rabbit hole with, but I lived in Sweden for three years of my life uh, between the ages of 13 and 16. And Sweden is an extremely eco-conscious place to live. Every, uh, every, everybody loves to recycle and they have the, the um, environment sort of, sort of just as uh a mindset to be in um, environmentally conscious, I guess. Yeah, so, yeah. so that really got ingrained into who I am, and it's just a principle, just to be eco-conscious. So, yeah. this company resonated with me tremendously, and I really, really enjoy it. Interesting, interesting. And and uh, you mentioned they just op I'm in the Chicagoland area, and they just opened up a franchise here in Chicago. Yes. Yes, uh, to my recollection, I could be wrong, but I believe they they have recently opened up one, or they will be sometime this year. Uh, interestingly enough, they had twenty one franchise locations last year, and now they're up to forty. So they are wow. going. That's amazing. Pretty, yeah, yeah. It, it it goes to show you what the need is out there for something like that. I mean, under normal circumstances, here at least in in my area, you know, we rent a one of those big garbage bins and then we clean stuff out and they come pick it up, which is probably means it's going to a landfill somewhere. Yes. Personally, yes. I try to donate everything as much as awesome. I can. Um, because just because it's the right thing to do. Speaking of doing the right thing, tell us a little bit about what you got going on as far as your charitable efforts coming up. Perfect. Yes. Uh, so um, this past year I was on a fundraising team for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. So every single year uh, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society um, put together this fundraising effort where they have um, a certain number of teams and, and there is a person who um, is in charge of each team. Okay. Um, and, 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 uh, that campaign is called man and man and man, a woman of the year. For some reason I just got caught and, um, <laughs> I just couldn't articulate it properly, That's but, funny. but it takes place between the months of March, uh, to June. And you just try to raise as much as you can for the leukemia and lymphoma society and that goes towards blood cancer research um so it's a very ad uh ad admirable thing um i guess you can see i didn't have my coffee this morning which is kind of ironic since it's called uh oh, wow, coffee. There you go. yeah exactly <laughs> i'm a little hyper <laughs> there you go i'm kind of an anomaly um so so um 
the reason why I am involved with that charitable organiza organization was um, due to the fact that uh, when I was 10, my father unfortunately passed away from a type of cancer called Hodgkin's lymphoma. Mm -hmm. um, so just to be charity minded is awesome, but specifically to be charity minded within an organization that um, helps something that affects um, that helps um, a family member of mine is just tremendous. So um, Amazing. being charitable and especially within this tremendous organization is amazing. So with that being said, I am running a fundraising team from um, for, for 2021. So if anyone who sees this, they could be anywhere in the United States or around the world if you would like to get involved, just please reach out to me. I would appreciate the help. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. And here's, here's what I'd like to propose to you. Um, when it, you said this starts in March now? Yes. Okay, so let's do a Coffee with Bob live um, and let's do it with members of your team that you build or your whole team. I mean, we can do as many as we want. I mean, obviously if it's too big, it, it doesn't work as well. <laughs> but let's do it with some members of your team and, and let's make it like a telethon. Right. Okay. We don't, have to, we don't have to do it all day. Obviously, that kind of telephone. Yeah. But let's get the word out there, and and uh, let's do some presentations live on LinkedIn. And um, I, I think very quickly you'll realize the power of of what that is, and and how many just wonderful souls that are on LinkedIn that are going to pitch in to help you out. Yeah. Wow. Um, thank you so much for actually, you know, helping me. Uh, that. <laughs> I really, really appreciate that. Um, so that's awesome. That's really, really awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think I think it's important. You know, um, I had a um, a friend who was diagnosed with um, Hodgkin's, the but the the other, not not the lymphoma one, but the other non lymphoma Hodgkin's. I think it's. Uh, yeah, I think it's called non non Hodgkin's lymphoma. Yeah, yeah, he had that and um, is doing well. Thank so, God. So far, right? Yeah. So I, I totally get it. And I love what you're doing. It's amazing. Um, especially for someone so young. I mean, compared yeah. to me, you're a kid. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm actually 55, believe it or not. Yeah. Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. But no, yeah. So, so um, I really, really do appreciate that. And um, it's really powerful when we have these social media platforms, especially with LinkedIn. I mean, the, I mean, the algorithm is just so incredible how many people you can um, contact and reach. And uh, it's just incredible. And it really helps with um, anything that you do in life, whether it be in business or your charitable efforts for that matter. Right. Yeah. It's awesome. Um, well, Brandon, thank you for what you do. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, I, I think it's critically important. Um, if you're not connected with Brandon, if you're not following Brandon, I highly recommend it. Um, he's actually doing it right on LinkedIn. He posts quite frequently. He's got some great stuff that he's posting. Algorithm should be friendly to you, hopefully. Yes. Uh, I'm going to be tagging Brandon's information um, uh, all below in this post here. So make sure you, you, you follow him and connect with him. Um, I really do think one connection can change a life, and this young man here is changing uh, a lot of people's lives with what he, what he does. So, Brandon, thank you very much for being on. Uh, I really appreciate it. Uh, thank you so much for the amazing conversation, and thank you for giving me the platform to convey my message. I really appreciate that. You're very welcome. Have a great day. Awesome. Thanks.